Hi guys, so we're gonna start this week's workout schedule with the 400 rep workout and I'm just having my pre-workout coffee and before I'm gonna show you our workout for today I just wanted to have a little coffee talk with you and today's coffee talk is gonna relate to our diet challenge for this week so um, our diet challenge for this week is uh, avoiding overeating I'm gonna try to learn not to eat too much so uh, today I'm just gonna answer your question how much food is enough for me because you guys have been asking me this question so many times and I think it's important to realize that we are all individuals and uh, you, should be, you should stop looking for the answers outside of yourself. Your body is more than capable of telling you how much food is enough for you. Um, your body can tell you when you feel hungry, when you should be eating. You shouldn't eat when, you're not, when you don't feel hungry. So, as soon as you feel a little bit hungry, that's the right time to eat. Your body is also capable of telling you uh, that you had enough food. So, um, after your meal, you should feel light and you should feel energized. If you feel heavy, if you feel tired and bloated, the chances are that you probably have eaten too much. So, try to listen to your body and stop looking at charts and uh, books that are telling you how many calories you should be eating according to your height and, uh, and weight and age. Because this stuff is very general and it does not apply to everyone the same way. Uh, I can give you an example. For example, my best friend is the same age as me. She's about the same height and she's been always much slimmer than me. She never had problems with gaining weight or anything like that. And she's never paid attention to what she eats. She eats everything, deep fried food. and uh, She really likes fatty sauces, dumplings, desserts, things like that. All the things that I'm trying to avoid since I was 15. And she never worked out at home. She hates working out. She would never go to gym. So I'm way more active than her. But if I would eat the way she eats, I would be overweight in no time. She eats much more than me and all the bad things that I'm avoiding. And on the other hand, if she would eat the way I eat, she would disappear probably. So we are all really, we all really different and we should know ourselves how much food is enough for us. So try this week. Um, take it as your challenge, try to really listen to your body. Eat when you feel a little bit hungry and try to eat slow, try to really pay attention. If you feel full already, stop eating. Even though if you ate little and it looks like you hardly ate anything. If you feel already full, then you don't have to finish your plate. Especially in restaurants because here in North America they give you this huge portion and you know I always eat a little bit and it looks like I hardly eat, ate and everything just because the food is so big you know so it's just a shift in perspective we don't need to eat huge portion sizes it's okay to eat small portions and eat more often and it will it will give you better results you will see as soon as you start to listen to your body and stop eating when you when you're full, when you feel still light and, and you feel energy after your meal, then that's, that's the way to go. So anyways, um, try this challenge for this week. Let me know your thoughts about this and let me know how it works for you. And if you're seeing any, any changes in the results. And uh, I will just finish my coffee and I will show you our workout, our first workout for this week.
a row. Let's put a row. So I completed this workout in 35 minutes and 29 seconds. It's probably the longest workout I've ever done. It was really hard, really challenging, especially the exercise with the sandbag and the push-ups. And uh, I'm gonna do an instructional video for this workout so that, so that you guys know how to do each exercise with the proper form. I'm gonna give you some modifications for beginners and I'm gonna walk you through it so that you know exactly what to do. And you can find a step-by-step -step guide for this workout on my blog, Baderagda TV. And uh, try it at home, try to beat my time. Let me know how you did, how did you enjoy this workout. And uh, that's it for today. Tomorrow I will post some article about food and diet on my blog. And I will see you guys uh, in our next workout. So check out the workout schedule and thanks for watching and see you very soon.